Hello friends, we are here at Embedded World. I'm Ken Briota, the Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design, and I'm so excited to be here in the Encluster booth talking to Dario Galante. Dario, welcome. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you so, so much for pleasure. being here. It's a pleasure being here. It's an exciting Embedded World. We're just getting started. Why don't you start out by telling us what you guys have going on? What have you brought to the show this year that's so exciting? Yeah, quite a lot of things here are going on this year. As, as every year we try to pick pick uh, or future picking some, some of the news here. And so we're pretty excited to announce a few collaborations this year with an AI partner which is trying to change the game of AI computation, especially when it comes to embedded computation. And then we have our F RF SOM demo, which is also uh, something pretty interesting, which is you know uh, expanding connectivity all over the place in, in, the, in RF, especially when it comes to the very specific application. Yeah. And, then, and then, yeah, we have several demos here that we are showcasing to the customer, and we, we, we hope that we good impression. You know, RF has been so important in the embedded world for so long, and, but there's a lot of new innovation coming there. Can you tell us a little bit more about the RF SOM and, and what you guys have done there? Yeah, with the RF SOM, we are trying to push pretty hard because anyway, it's very, a good device to do very high performance is RF processing and it has all what is needed already embedded in the, in the, in the chip in order to do the application uh, very much in, in a very small package and very, uh, I would say, uh, design efficiency. Yeah. And so in this case, we have our demo in there, which is showing, showcasing a, a, a modulation of a simple, uh, let's say, of a classical uh, wireless ap application one uh, eight zero two point eleven, and uh, it is let's say showcasing the capability of the of the device when it, it can be pushed to a certain frequency as well and push pushing higher let's say the, the the center frequency. So it's pretty interesting to see how these devices can go up and what is the limit yeah. of this. So we're trying to do that. That's awesome. So you mentioned that there's a demo for that. You guys have eight demos here in the booth yeah. this year. A lot going on. How do they all contribute and, and, and what are you excited about with the, your famous slogan about being life-saving, life-changing, and dream-making? Yeah, this is, this is a pretty nice slogan and a way, I, I would say, I, I would like very much the way to put it because in a way, uh, if you think about where the RSOMs are located in the customers' systems, they are pretty much in every application that you can imagine. It's uh, in the world. So in life-saving, for example, you may have systems which are, for example, revolutionizing the diagnostics and then a piece of our hardware is in there. So in a way, we are a little bit life-saving. Yeah. And so if you think about life-changing, changing, we have also some industry uh, uh, AI computation engines which are basically changing the way we do industrialization of some components yeah. and for some people this is life changing. So in a way we like to think we are a little bit life changing as well, sure. being part of these systems. And dream making, that is of course about every new technology which is, you, you can dream about your new application and new stuff in order to save a new problem. And then of course with our uh, processing units which can go, for example in this case of the polar fire, we, we are trying to go this up to the space. You know? Yeah. And in that, in that case, you know, it's a little bit thinking about the dream. You know? <laughs> and so we like to think this year about this and being a little bit uh, satisfied by the fact that we can have life-saving, uh, life-changing and dream-making. Well, what do they say? If you can dream it, you can be it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like to think this way. So that's, that's, that's a pretty cool, cool way to put it. Yeah. That's awesome. So last year, the big news from you guys was about Pluto. What, what is the big news, big exciting thing that you're announcing this year? Yeah, we are, we are announcing an exciting collaboration with our AI partner, uh, which is going to be a, an AI integrated chip on a system of module fabricated by Incluster. And, and in this case, this, this is a pretty cool application and a pretty cool device that can accelerate the development of AI in embedded with a power efficiency, which is very good. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a very innovative thing like to put outside in the market for, for AI application. And of course, we are trying and we will make uh, the, the uh, especially in the RF front end and RF uh, application, we will, we will push our F, RF SOC. In this case, we also won the best award for the, for the application here. So it's also a pretty cool thing to showcase to our customers that this is how we can do things. And of course, 
We will try to put the attention also to our capabilities in design services, which is one of the backbones of our, uh, of our uh, company. Well, the, that customization thing is, is really exciting. So many clients and, and customers and players in the embedded space are really interested in customization of design and, and tailored solutions. I know you guys really are specializing in that now. Tell us a little bit more about how you guys do that. Yeah, absolutely. As, as I said before, we have a design service business unit, uh, and this, de this design service business unit is, is exactly what you can think about how a customization looks like. Like That's an embodiment of customization and customer focus when it comes to solving a problem of our customers. So if you are a customer and you want to solve a problem and you have your application which needs to run your system, that needs to run a certain frequency, a certain performances, then basically you can tell as you, you can think of design services as an extended arm of, of a customer and yeah. an extended development powerhouse for a customer. We can do with our competence quite many uh, um, customizations and services for our customers, so it's pretty cool in the sense that not, not only we have the competence for that, but also unified this with the flexibility of the products we are uh, proposing to our customer. This is a perfect combination of us being able to solve any problem, basically. I look forward to you designing my custom system to turn lead into gold. Absolutely, <laughs> I'll just go to the boot, like let's set us up and then we, we start. That's, that's right, that's thank so you so much, Dario. Really I appreciate it, thank it. you. Thanks. Folks, don't go away. We've got lots more coming to you from Embedded World 2025. While you're out there, make sure you've liked and subscribed this video. Make sure you're following us on LinkedIn and all across the web, and make sure that you visit embeddedcomputing.com for all the news that you need in the embedded space. I've been Ken Briota, and we'll be right back.